up everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, my name is Kendall and here we talk about all things makeup and all things makeup related. I didn't get my video up last week and that is because of this little one right here. I would like you guys to meet Minnie. <laughs> she is our new family member. We adopted, we adopted her last Tuesday. She, <laughs> she's such a little sweet girl. If you don't know, I already have two dogs. They're both from rescues. I have Charlie, who you probably hear a lot in my videos. He is my howler. He is a beagle basset mix. And then I have Daisy, also a rescue. She is a beagle doxy mix. And then I don't know. I'm sure someone's going to ask me what kind of dog Minnie is. Couldn't tell you. She's got a really fluffy corkscrew tail. <laughs> she's got cute little crimped ears and she's just the sweetest girl. So yeah, I was busy with her all last week and I could have filmed, but I, I honestly was just kind of soaking in, spending time with her and getting her adapted and well acquainted with my other two dogs. Everyone's getting along great. She's adjusting so well. I just wanted to introduce her to you guys before we get in to the video. She's probably going to be hanging out here with me today. She is definitely a cuddler. So if you see a little nose or a little ear peeping through the lens, that's what that is. As you can tell by the title today, we are going to be doing a toast it or roast it. This is, I believe, the third video in the series that I'm doing. This is very much inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. And it is where I go through on Instagram, on Trend Moods page, and toast or roast all the different makeup that's coming out. Take what I say in this video with a grain of salt because I have officially bought something that I mentioned in my last Toasted or Roasted that I said I wasn't interested in, wasn't gonna buy, and it's what I have on my eyes right now. The Candy Skies palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I said I wasn't interested, I wasn't really feeling it. I'm not really into pastels, not really into color, but then here we are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just real quick wanna say I was so drawn to this palette because of how it was laid out. It makes it so simple for someone like me who sees color and is like, I don't know what to do with this at all. Everything is like grouped together where you, it kind of puts it in a color story for you. You know what I mean? Like I don't have to guess what shades to go in with. So like for instance today, I just have these three peachy shades on my lid and nothing else. And it's just like, you can go here, you can go here, you can go here. It's just, it makes it so simple. And yeah, I branched out and did a little color today. I am trying to branch out with some more colorful looks. So we'll see, but I have really been enjoying this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in to the new makeup releases. Okay, so the very first thing I wanna talk about is the Ulta Gilmore Girls makeup collection. So it looks like you get a four piece nail polish, a lip crown kit, gel eyeliners, and then there's like a brush and sponge set. It's really no surprise that they did this considering how much makeup they wear on Gilmore Girls and how well known that show is for makeup. It just, this collection doesn't make sense. This is such a cash grab. It's like, what popular show can we slap on something like we can slap the logo on and people will buy it just because it says Gilmore Girls. I would understand if they did this with the show Euphoria. I personally have never seen the show but I know a lot of people on like TikTok and Instagram were recreating like makeup looks inspired by the show so obviously that show they wear a lot of colorful makeup. That would make sense. Something like that. Or if they wanted to take, for instance, let me take it like a show that has nothing to do with makeup, but you could spin it. The first show that comes to my mind is Riverdale. You could do like a Cheryl lipstick where it's, you know, cherry red because red is her color. You could do like a color for Betty and it's like a soft pink. I don't, you know what I mean? Like you could, you could kind of work your way with that, but like Gilmore Girls, it's like, What's next? A Touched by an Angel makeup collection? You guys remember that show? Seventh Heaven? Step by Step? I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, definitely a pass for me. I, I don't know what they were thinking coming out with that. Uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on that below. I'm very, very curious. Urban Decay is coming out with another naked palette and I am not, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I love all my naked palettes. I think 
I have all of them except for the very first one, um, which you can't get anymore. Uh, it is the Urban Decay Cyber Palette, and the promo photo that they have for it, I I can't really give an opinion on it because that promo photo is garbage. You can't see really what color the shades are. It looks like there's a lot of shimmers, maybe some duochromes. I don't know. By looking at this picture, it doesn't look appealing to me, but this is like a weird angle. I need to see it swatched. I think the outer packaging is really cool, but I'm really, really interested to see what it looks like. It, it's piquing my interest, but not enough for me to like immediately go out and buy it. So Morphe is coming out with a Cherry Coke palette. They, I, this is again, I don't understand this collaboration. Why are they making a makeup line inspired by a soft drink. I just, I don't understand. I don't get the appeal. Currently, I'm obsessed with Topo Chico, the carbonated water, but if they came out with like a Topo Chico palette, I wouldn't be like, oh, I I need to have it because I love, I love drinking Topo Chico. So I, I don't understand who, like, who is th this for? And also, let's just state the obvious. This is just a complete ripoff of the Too Faced palette. Even like the way the mirror is cut out with like the Cherry Coke logo is the same. The pans are the same. It just, it's a direct copy. And I hate when brands do that. I mean, I know everything's kind of been done before, but Morphe has never done something like this. And it is such a direct like like copy the homework, but don't make it so obvious that you copied. Like, no, you literally made it so obvious that you copied. That's a pass for me. I've never really been impressed with Morphe. I have the two Jaclyn Hill palettes from Morphe and I actually really do enjoy those, but everything else I'm just like, oh. I saw this and I was like, <laughs> Benefit, who real quick, I don't buy anything from Benefit because they are not a cruelty-free brand before someone comes at me in the comments and says, well, on their page, they say they're cruelty-free. Dig a little deeper in that statement. They say they're cruelty-free, except in places where required by law, meaning they are not cruelty-free. So they're coming out with a contour contourist bronze and what? Hula Contourist Bronze and Contour Palette. In this palette, you get four shades. Hula Light, Hula, Hula Caramel. Caramel, Caramel. And Hula Toasted. Hula will never die. They keep pushing and pushing the same products over and over again. I think I said this, I think I said this in my last Toasted or Roasted about the Hula Bronzer. Like they won't, they just won't let it be. Like, okay, great, sell your bronzer. Why do you have to keep repackaging it? Why do you have to keep like rebranding it? Just sell it as is, come up with something new, benefit. Here's another thing, who is this for aside from like maybe someone that's a makeup artist? Because no one's gonna be able to use all these shades. Why would you put four different, like, and I guess someone could be like, well, it's for contouring and bronzing, but who's gonna use all four of these shades? Like, if I were to get this, I would be able to use Hula Light and Hula. Hula Caramel would be too orange on me, and Hula Toasted would be way too deep on me, so who's using this? Like, I don't know who would be able to use all four shades. I would get it if it was like in duos, like Hula and Hula Light were sold as a duo and Hula Caramel, Caramel and Hula Toasted were sold as duos, but I don't understand why it's on a quad. Like not, I don't think one person could use all those shades. I could be wrong, but that's just what I get from that. So it's a pass, pass for me. I saw this when I was at Target the other week and I was like, Wet n Wild has come out with a Wild Crush collection. It, it's a copy of the ColourPop monochromatic palettes. Okay, so those ColourPop nine pans are like what? Nine to 12 bucks? They're not very expensive. And these Wet n Wild ones are, it looks like $4.99. So yeah, so I guess if this is something you wanted and you, you didn't have like the extra few dollars to buy the ColourPop palette, then I can see where this would appeal, but if, if you're a brand that's gonna could just completely dupe another brand's items, why not pick, like this would make more sense to me if Wet n Wild were to dupe the like $25 Natasha Denona palettes, like the little five pan ones, if, cause those are $25. If Wet n Wild 
took that and made it their own, like five pans to mimic the Natasha Denona palettes and made it $5, that I would be like, okay, I get that, that's pretty smart. But like to do ColourPop and it's like, why? Why not dupe a more, more expensive brand? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense. That's just what makes sense in my head. Pat McGrath is coming out with a Hutopian Dream palette. Now, I don't, I don't really know a whole lot about Pat McGrath shadows. I only tried the holiday one that they came out with. I don't even remember what it was called. It was in like the cardboard packaging. Um, I'll throw up a picture right here uh, so you know what I'm talking about. I bought that and I ended up returning it, and that's the only eyeshadow palette that I've ever returned in my life. And please don't come for me if you like Pat McGrath. It just wasn't for me, and I couldn't justify spending the price on it because I was like, I know I'm not ever going to use this. So I'm not saying it's a bad brand in any way, shape, or form. I just, I didn't vibe with that palette. I wasn't, like, super impressed with it. I have never tried any of the Mothership palettes, which I've, hear, I've heard wonderful things about, but with that, like, $125 price tag, it might be, is it $125? It's over $100 dollars but a lot of people were mad about the Hutopian palette because I guess she teased it and I went back and I watched all the like the teasers on Instagram she teased it like it was gonna be this like rainbow palette and she, when it was released it was like where I saw a lot of people that I'm friends with online piece together their other mothership palettes from Pat McGrath and it was like if you have three of the other mothership palettes you basically have this palette but yeah it's a pass for me I just it's just too expensive I, I'm sure those palettes are great and I know people that have them love them but if if I was only going to buy like one or two eyeshadow palettes for the year and that's it I would probably invest in something like that if I if it was something I was going to use over and over again but that's just not the case for me I'm constantly trying out new stuff and I like to try out new palettes I like to switch them out every few days so it's just not it doesn't make sense for me it looks pretty but it's just not something that I'm interested in I just realized I don't think I like any of these that I'm talking about so that's good for my um that's good for my wallet so Kylie Cosmetics has risen from the cosmetics grave the rebrand has been done I really don't understand why <laughs> All the products are the same. All the new blushes and uh, lip kits and bronzers are literally the same shades, the same names. It's just maybe the formula is different. The packaging's a little different. So I haven't gotten anything because because I have those shades from the original formula. So I'm like, I'm not paying more money for the same stuff. But she came out with a 24 karat birthday collection. This just, it all looks very cheap to me. This palette is $60. I don't know, it just, maybe it's great. I, I have not seen a single person use this palette. A lot of these shades look the same to me. It's like they put too many, they put too many pans in this palette. They could have condensed this and made it a cheaper price for sure. The shades Certified Gold and Better Than Gold look the same to me. The shades Birthday Baby and 24 look the same to me. I don't know. I could be completely wrong and this is an amazing palette, but just based off looks alone. And I think it's a cardboard, I think it's cardboard packaging too. The highlighter wouldn't work for me because it looks like it's a straight up gold highlighter. I'm not interested in the lip products. There's a body body glow and like an all over body gloss. I'm not interested in that. Honestly, this palette looks like you could dupe it with a BH Cosmetics palette, with, which are so affordable and they're actually really good quality. But yeah, this is, this is a miss for me. Absolutely not interested in that. Huda Beauty is coming out with more of her nine pan palettes. I, she has released so many of these I have lost count they're cute I'm not gonna lie like every time she comes out with these little nine pans I'm always like oh so I have the nude rich nine pan palette it looks like this the wild tiger one looks like something that you probably already have in your collection the wild jaguar palette is kind of calling my name I'm not gonna get it but if I were going to pick one up I think wild jaguar that um the one with the 
purpley shades in it. I think that would be the one I would get. Wild Chameleon's pretty, but I would never use those colors. And then Wild Python is actually really pretty, but it kind of looks like the emerald palette that she came out with already, like the nine pan emerald one. Yeah, I mean, they're not bad. I, I just, a lot of the comments I was reading through Trend Mood were like, again, we've already seen this, we've already seen this. And it's like, okay, yeah, but this would be good for somebody that doesn't have these colors. But if you have a big makeup collection, you have these. So maybe pump the brakes on getting that. Like, is there anything that I like? ColourPop is coming out with a $62 Disney Princess Super Shock Shadow Vault set. The Super Shock Shadows aren't bad at all, but like I never use them because I, they're just not convenient for me to grab. Like I, I probably have maybe six or seven of them, but I can't tell you the last time I used them. The way I do my makeup is I, I pull out a palette and then like I just, I, I use the palette. I'm not really into like mixing and matching. So by the time I remember like, oh, I have a super shock shadow. Like I've already used, I'm already done. You know what I mean? Like I don't pull them out ahead of time. Like I'm not like, ooh, I don't think about it. So maybe this is just a me thing. If you really like the super shock shadows, then maybe this is something good for you. But I will say, do not let the fact that there is Disney stickers on the packaging get you to buy this. I know, I know it's hard because I'm also such a sucker and I'm a huge Disney lover, but just because something has a Disney princess on it or the word Disney does not mean you need to buy it. Take a look at this. Is it really something you need? Is it really something that you are going to be using? Like, yeah, they're pretty colors, but I know personally I would, I would never get use out of this. So it's going to be, it's going to be a pass. All right. So that was everything. I didn't realize that I was going to be uh, negative about everything coming out. If this is your first video with me, I promise it's not like this all the time. All right, guys, so that was it. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel if you have not, and give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it. That is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.